Mythos? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yes, she looked like a very nice person. She made me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. I mean, I eat my favorite food every day, kind of. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Of course. No. Oh, my birthday's coming up, as a matter of fact. In about, uh, two months. Oh, then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Wait, do you like pancakes? Uh, I have had many of them, but they're alright. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. Fair. Fair. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. I just had noodles earlier, actually. Store brand ramen. You no, know, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? Uh, yeah, but... I, haven't really, I don't really know any of them. Now, do they share their food with you? No, not really. That's not very nice of them. I mean, I never asked. Not that, not that open to a neighborhood. Our neighbors and my mom, I take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns what everyone also takes turns doing chores and watching their little kids. That's nice. I don't need to be watching anymore though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. Uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. That we should. Hello, everybody! Anakris the Gaulus here. Wait, hold on. I forgot to switch the border last time. Yeah, I delayed a bit. Anyways, hello, everyone! Anakris the Gaulus here, also known as Sketching Creations. Today, we're back in one shot once more. We're in the last episode. We made a button. In this episode, we're gonna see where the button can take us. But first, though. I think in the last few episodes I was I was a little bit quiet. I don't know if it happened the same this time, but I'm just gonna lower the volume a little more just in case. Just a little. There, that should be good. All right, all right then. So let's get going. So uh, and the last episode we left the lone lamp man hanging after we fixed the elevator button. Let's go join him now. He had to wait through Nico's whole sleep right there. Oh, also, by the way, you may remember in the last episode, or the one before it, there was a room over to off to the right where I tried to enter a key code into a door. Well, the key code didn't work, but apparently after that, I triggered an event where, in my documents folder, the game placed down four PNG files. And I think, I think normally under normal circumstances, you're not supposed to get those yet until, like, after you've beat the game. As for what those PNG files are, well, well, we'll, we'll cover that later. Anyways, though, let's get in the elevator. Oh, hey, welcome back. That sure you took you a while, huh? Yeah. I didn't know you re re responded to that. Oh, shoot, you've been waiting this whole time? And holding the door open? Well, I, uh, didn't want to be rude. I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. Yeah, don't worry about it. You were already late, man. You'd be a little bit later. <laughs> I'm sure nobody is watching. Ah, uh, elevator music. Sure is taking a while. Mm hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah, and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Fair, fair. You know, maybe we can chat in the past of time, then? <laughs> you you heard me? I, I mean, sure. <laughs> Alright, Mythos, should I ask about his job? So, uh, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights, mostly. But someone's gotta do it. 
But now I also deliver and refill high, ener high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's, it's what powers most of the city's stuff. Ooh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that. But lately a bunch of have been break of them have been breaking down. So until they fix them, I'll just I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will all the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the labs. But they seem really concerned really concerned about something else lately. You know? Never a good sign when the smart folks are worried. Alright, Mythos, should I ask about the city? The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. Ah. Uh, sounds relatable to a, a, another city we're waiting for in another pixelated game. Getting pretty crowded, too. First, there was the refugees from the Barrens, and now more Glen folks are moving in, too. You know? It's just safer here, you know? Welcome. It's safer here. I mean, it's not a haven by any means, all the head crabs. That square stuff we just saw? We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The land, the land, must, the land mass itself is still holding up. It was a red liquid anyways. Which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Build vertically. Ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Those reading lines are pretty high maintenance. I understand. I have a light that I got some time ago. It's fixed next to my desk. Because, my, because the light I have in this room is pretty crud. But I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit in fine. You and Mythos. Thanks for the compliment, I guess. I don't know if I call myself genius, but hey. Anyways, it was nice meeting you, uh... Nico. Right. See you around, kid. Gotta run now. Got Dash. He seems in a hurry. Guess we should hurry too, Mythos. Yeah, I mean, we did make him extra late for his job. People are counting on us. So let's go find that library. Also, you can go back up if you need to. We don't, though. The elevator is button panel. So, right. I feel like I was going to say something extra there, but I forgot what it was. Hello there. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Okay, I'm not gonna do the zoom and joke again. Sigh. You alright? Ah, the Messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I, I know. But what do you think? I th think. I think I should listen to Mythos. After all, Mythos helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Okay. Why would you say the same thing? It's like, I'm just playing by the rule of twos, man. Usually you talk to an embassy at least twice for their dialogue. It applies heavily to Undertale and Delta Room. Anyways over here. There's an arrow sign. A neon arrow sign is a little bit awkward. Awkward. Peculiar. That's the word I'm looking for. No, hi there. Are you, new, are you a newspaper boy? Evening news. Evening news. Are you here to purchase a copy? No? Newspaper, newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups. Yeah. What does that mean? It's me people who are on kids. Kids. Uh... Aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. Hey, how long ago were you manufactured, exactly? I should be able to determine it. Oh, Community Bolton. The library released several new books by the elusive author last week. The head librarian recommends them. The assistant librarian had no comment as he reportedly fled the scene sobbing. The receptionist had no comment either because the receptionist is a robot. Sobbing, huh? 
I have a feeling that might be a little bit different in someone else's playthrough. If any else of you played it at one shot and you made it this far, tell me if that dialogue is different. Anyway, I think I think I think the library is actually off this way. So let's see what's down over here. I'm walking over all this red goop. It's got piggish goo. It's like liquid gum. It's locked from the inside. Okay. It doesn't even have a handle or a button. It is a sensor door. Like it's sense. The kind of door opens sense and like a sensor like is inappropriate. Hello. You have a fishbowl for a head. You're wearing a hoodie. Where are you there? You have a lot of fish. Look at the eagle's face down there. Precious. Yeah, I'm worried about them. No? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess, you, I, guess you, I guess you should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Okay. Nope. Not looking forward to that water shortage. The big fish tank. Okay. No comment about the plant. Mm -hmm. Get the sink here. If you haven't refilled your water tube yet, I think you can, I think you, you can refill it there. It's our little avenue. So here's this alley right here. Was there another entrance to the left of the elevator? Oh, the door's still open. Yeah, no, there wasn't. I thought there was. Okay, that's a little fishy. By the way, since I've never addressed it, I feel like you addressed it now while we're walking. You can probably hear my keyboard clacking in all my videos so far, and that's because my mic is sitting right behind my keyboard. I don't really have a better way to do it, so you just kind of have to deal with it. You know, we're in an alleyway now, there's laundry hanging about. Yeah, my, my dumpster. There's a trash bin. So yeah, my mic is right behind my keyboard, so you just kind of you have to deal with it. Mythos, did you see what happened? Yeah, I saw it. That was creepy. My vision went blank for a second. And I saw something. Like a really short dream. It's called a vision. I wonder what that was about. That was creepy, though. I don't remember that happened. You know, I got somber music. A bag full of trash. Gross. Yeah, gross. Yeah. I'm just working off a cheap Walmart microphone right now, so I don't really have any more advanced options. That's what I'm working with. I'm not made of money. I don't exactly have the most revenue right now, either. It's strangely warm in this room. Well, I can see why it would be. Hello. Mew. Mew. Those little cats. Hello there. You got like a, a super space speeder for a... Speeder? Super space heater for a head. Oh, oh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? Do you wish to join us? Uh, join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. It is. But I'm just a person. You are still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got Mythos to guide me. Oh, I see. It's warm here. Yeah. This was my original purpose. That's nice. Washing cats? Warmth. Ooh. It's a nice purpose. You're on. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? Can't sleep now. Mythos and I need got stuff to do. Also, we just rested. I see. I think he, I think there's a picture of this guy on the Steam store page for the game. This is a very memorable shot. Oh, so he must be very tall when he stands up. If you look at him. I used to have a, a small heater that I used every morning. It kind of melted, and then we kind of gave it away after we moved. This is unfortunate. It's a faded flyer. It's a faded flyer, okay. Oh, hello. I carry your marking on the wall. Looks like a ram. I am one of you. I see you have the club uniform. 
You may come in. Well, well, well. We meet again. Secret Ram Club. So, we meet again. Hello. Wait, aren't you from the village? Yes, but the Rams are ever-present. In the village, in the city. Even in your heart. Okay. You get an achievement for getting us, by the way. You need the t-shirt to get in here. If Rams wore shoes, they would have flip-flops. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Were they, were they chewing a the flip-flop? I used to host their official Ram Club wiki site. But we kept having page faults due to Rams getting out of the server room. <clears throat> what? 404 Ram not found. Ha <laughs> yeah, yeah. ha I have no idea what any of that meant. You and your puns, dude. Goat. It's good to see you, too. This guy's here. And Nico even comments. Is this the same number of goats he had in the Glen, apart from the ones part of the puzzle? This ram doesn't react to me at all. It said the word boss written on its wool. That one isn't a ram. That one is weed only. I see. And Chuck Conway would love you. What is this? An electric kettle. Looks like it's boiling water. Alright, it's almost lunchtime. You can eat ramen. Would you like to stay for a nice cup of ramen? Uh, hua, hua. Now, I already had ramen earlier. Oh, pass. Okay. Right. Also, obligatory. Ooh. Party time. Okay, enough of that. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna equip that. swiftly onwards. Stop scratch my nose. Can you sprint with the right shift? You can. I still don't like using sprint keys to shift. I can toggle sticky keys. Again, what is sticky keys for? It seems redundant as far as I'm aware. I wasn't level of transition. <laughs> so, I never know which way is which in this area. I say it like I've played multiple times, but this is only my second playthrough. I'm not counting Solstice. Oh dear. There's a robot in here. Please do not approach. You're not, you're not, you don't seem too well. The squares again. Let's not say next to them for too long. It's up here. Let's see those goosebumps again. There's a man behind the tree. The man offered something. You got the egg. There's no one here. Okay. There's no man behind the tree. Alright. I think this way is the way to our part of the city, so over here is someone's house. A jar full of red glowing fluid. They like pure phosphor. An empty glass jar. The handle is one that's broken. Oh, the wire handle. Big books. Ah, oh, these are dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. Mm -hmm. A framed photo of someone. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working hard, Mr. Lamplighter. Lamplighter, huh? Tell you someone we know. Empty coffee cups. Definitely tell you somebody we know. There's an empty coffee cup on the chair as well. Don't sit on it. A bed. The blanket, the blanket has quite a few patches. A rusty metal garbage can. There's some broken glass in here. There's empty glass jars. It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. You also have Overcoming Shyness. Now, very clearly, there's a shiny thing in this box. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at it though. I'll come back here later. It's for reasons. So we're in another area. 
Oh, a coffee head. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Oh, pass. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. You're really using your noggin there, huh? This smells kind of nice. Oh, you said the same thing. I, d I keep doing that. Okay, tap the X button. So I, can, so I can Pokemon. Don't mash A, mash B. Okay. Now, here you are. You got more nice sprite work. You pouring stuff into the light. That's what it looks like, trying to interpret your sprite. Hello. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. You need some flux tape? I got some the other day. He looks busy. You can tell, huh? Alright then. Continuing onwards. Use no wood building. What is this? There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Click, click. It didn't do anything. Empty rectangular slot. Looks like something could fit in here. Looks like numbered with Roman numerals. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> Don't comment about the screen in the back. Seems important. Hello. You here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. Check your time on your watch. My watch is out of battery, and I'm scared to try to replace it myself. It sounds almost a bit like burnt sugar. Yep, still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. You want one? It's okay, thank you. I wonder what that tastes like. Is that a thing people have tried to make real life? In real life? Interested? Hey, hey! Ready, to, ready for me to blow your mind? Sure. Okay, so... I haven't been into medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. Interesting. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh. Thanks. Don't like, don't like me. Go spread the word. Oh. We've got a water pill. Goes to Mars, supposedly. Well, we have water. So put the pill in the water. Sploosh. Dissolved really fast. Now, medicated water. The water pill is dissolved in it. Actually, I exaggerated. The effect, of the, the effect of the, the effects of the pill wears off in like a week. But all you have to do is take another pill. Oh. It's going to help so many people. It also make me, make me rich and famous and cool. What was the process to make these, dude? What was your scientific process? Out of curiosity, there's another door. All right. So I know what's off this way. We're not gonna go there quite yet, so let's go this way. Alright. Got some music again. We're also gonna get metal footsteps, sounds, that's cool. Actually, wait a minute. This music. Quite familiar. Here's, here's this ominous structure. Go in here. It's a big giant X. Looks a bit familiar. Maybe a little less familiar depending on what operating system you currently operate on. I wonder if this is different you're playing on a Mac. Anyways, whatever this means, we'll find out later. This is the extent of what's in here. Now, I, I, I didn't get this the first time I played, but this... This is the base of the tower. The tower that we've been trying to get to this whole time, that's the base of it. That's the first point we can get actually near it. It's... Not all that thick, really. 
And you think it'd be wider, and I guess not. Interesting. Alright then, so let's just pass them through here back to the other side. Somber music. Looks like I can unlock the store. Like a latch sound. Now we're back in the other side here. So let's start moving around. The next thing you want to do is actually you want to go back up to the top side. Can I? Oh boy. I gotta use the elevator. We want to go back to that, that upper area, the cat, the cat walks. Now that you got that medicated water. Gotta run all the way back to the elevator because we are already on the street. So you can't warp. Fast travel. You have, to, you, have to, you, have to, you have to press Z to enter the elevator there. And now we're all on our own this time. Mm -hmm. This is not as long. And now, fast travel to the garden. Now we want to give it a little seed, the medicated water. Good thinking, Mythos. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. And then... That's that used up. No more clean wire sample tube. Good luck, little plant. And that is all we can do for that for now. All we can do now is just leave the plant be. So now let's just travel back to the bottom. Right then. So now we are heading towards the library, which is right over here. Do, do, do. Running along, running along. Loading screen. I knew it was there that time. Long bridge. And here we are. Hello. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks. I always gotta check for that alternate dialogue. Hello. When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? It's a question we yourself should ask. To be honest, I'd rather the former. Okay. You're a real way of sunshine, though. A quick death promises the least pain, don't you agree? It's deep questions, man. Anyways. It's very metal here in the city. These big bay windows, though. Is that what you call those bay windows? Maybe not for this kind of window. Now we're here. Hello. You look, you look like Steven from Pokemon. What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me, then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a the library. There's books in the library. Um... Go back to chair. Go go back to chatty one upstairs. No, he just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Mythos. Okay, the photo of some people. Hello there. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite a Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. No. They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon, these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Uh, I guess that's why the library is always so packed. And this is a slow day, mind you. Hmm. Activity. A pile of books on the ground. Okay. Books are neatly placed on the shelf. It's a very nice bookshelf. I like a spray. It's a good spray. Some sort of plaque. What is it for? Hello there. Reshelving in progress. Excuse me. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books 
Watch out for falling rocks. I will. Okay. Well, all right then. I think we're going to cut it off right there. We're getting a bit long. So, in the next episode, we will continue looking around the library and see what we can find. So, my name is Anna Grinsigals, host of the Sketching Creations, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.